All right, we're back with the Manchester United career mode. So we got uh, three big games in this episode, Liverpool, Chelsea, and then PSG. So all three games in this episode, this PSG one is to decide who finishes first in the Champions League group. And then Liverpool and Chelsea, we're trying to hold on to this second spot in the Premier League. But we're all just trying to play catch up to Man City, who we lost to in the last episode. As uh, even if we beat Liverpool, we're still going to be seven points behind them. So big games in this episode. And then next episode, we'll probably be in the uh, January transfer window. So we're going to start thinking about potential signings you want to make in uh, in January. All right, first press conference question, sign Neto from Wolves. Yes, I'm pretty sure we signed Neto in our Barcelona crew mode, like back near when FIFA 21 came out on next gen. I don't think we use him that much though, so he could be a good sign for this series. I feel like we might need another winger, and he's only 20 and he has a lot of potential, so uh, if, he, if he's not too expensive, we could maybe look at him in January. And the next comment, you received or conceded 16 goals, the weakest in top four, you need a real CDM. Yeah, we signed Camavinga to be our CDM, and he's now up to an 80 and he's he's done pretty well but that is true we have the weakest defense at the top four currently so i'm wondering if we in january we should go after a a true cdm to be the starter uh, i think if we sold fred it would make sense to buy a new cdm so we're gonna put fred on the on the transfer list and then hopefully sell him and then maybe sign a new cdm i think and then the next comment is who are your main targets to sign the transfer window so declan rice linked to united in real life uh it seems like they want him they're probably not going to do it this this window they probably want to do it in the future probably maybe next summer maybe he would be a perfect CDM. He's young, a lot of potential, already 82 rated. Him or Zakaria would be perfect. I'm just wondering, is January the time to go after a player like Rice or Zakaria? And then we could go after Neves, Saul again. Just, I feel like they're not true CDMs. And I feel like what we need is another true, true CDM to replace Fred. And other than CDM, maybe, maybe another winger in this window, maybe. Could be Potence or Neto. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about us possibly signing a new CDM like Declan Rice or Zakaria? I feel like I feel like Declan Rice might be the most realistic because how much they've been linked to him. But you guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. But all the transfer business is going to be saved for the next episode. This episode, we have Liverpool, Chelsea, and PSG. So Liverpool are on fifth. So they're trying to get back in the top four. So these are games we need to win. So they're going with Mane, Firmino, Salah. They're playing Kavak in the midfield for some reason. I don't know why they're playing a center back in the midfield. And then Henderson, Thiago, they're playing Fabinho at center back, which uh, that's probably a glitch, even though last season that's where he played. And uh, other than Kavak, it's uh, it's a pretty good team still. Also, I am not going to be Oli 2.0. We're going to give Van de Beek more chances in this save. This man is getting disrespected in real life, and I am not going to be the same as Oli, so we're going to give him a chance. But other than that, this is the team we're using. Pretty much the full strength first team as usual. So drop a like on this video, and we're going to see if we can beat Liverpool to start this episode. I feel like I'm leaning towards uh, Declan Rice signing him more than uh, Zakaria, because we've used Zakaria in FIFA 20, and I think I used him this year too, and I have not used Declan Rice. I don't think... I don't think I've ever signed him and uh, I do feel like that's the most realistic but we'll see I'll see what you guys think and then we will see you in the next episode right now we have Liverpool versus Man United also Sancho has 10 goals this season so he's at a very good start at uh at United all right Martial gets his kicked off Liverpool versus United we're gonna see what we can do as always I mean I'm also fine with uh just keeping Kemavinga as our starting CDM he's only 18 and he's already plus two so it would be nice to grow him up I think that oh that's a good turn I just think that is probably the weakest spot in our team. We cross that into Bruno. I don't know what that was. I think Henderson. Yeah, you got enough on that. Corner swung in. That is going to be cleared by Trent, and that's out by Thiago Kimavinga. Speaking of Kimavinga, he's going to go for a shot. That did not look that bad. Martial, that's going to be a blocked shot, Bruno. That actually works to Sancho, and we're just going to slow this down just a little bit. All right, swing that back to Kimavenga. They are pressure. Okay, they're pressuring a lot, as Liverpool do in FIFA, and they just want it back. Yeah, if we win this, we will go back into second place. So that makes this game, makes me want to win it even more. We got back to second. I don't want to lose that second spot. I mean, title race is nowhere near over. There's, there's still so much of the season left so man city can go on a huge losing streak and we can catch up so we just need to keep winning and uh be ready for that oh mcguire that is a great steal get that to martial get that to bruno swing that to sancho i need runners i need runners kimavinga kimavinga looks like he is that runner will we swing that into bruno yes we can oh bruno puts that in your post what a goal that is kimavinga with the assist as well that all started with a mcguire tackle in our in our half yeah bruno our top scorer he is i think he has 10 goals at 11 now in the premier league and that is a that is a near post finish i was not expecting to score that honestly i thought allison would save it but it just had enough power on it that it gets right past him yeah 11 in the prem for uh, bruno i think he's 
I think he's second behind Kane, I think. All right, 26th the minute. That is a great start to this game, though. Also good to see uh, Kimbenga getting an assist as well. All right, Sancho wins that back, and we can break. As Liverpool do play in this game on FIFA, they play very wide open and because of that they get punished and we are 2-0 up yeah this is how the way they're programmed to play in this game they push forward so much and we got rashford and martial leading the counter attack that is that is a quick counter attack plus plus there's no van dyke there's no van dyke or gomez either so their defense is definitely weakened i don't know if they're injured or what but 2-0 up already 34 minutes in this is not the start that uh liverpool would have wanted yeah every time we win the ball back it feels like feels like we have a chance not only because they play like this but because they have no center backs Hey, Sancho is just in now. He is in. He is in. It's going to go across Allison, and we are 3-0 up. I was not expecting this to start this episode, but it is very welcome. Facing a depleted Liverpool side, and uh, it is not going well for them. 41st minute, 3-0. Okay, Liverpool might need to just pack it up already. Yeah, games like this make me think we need to increase the sliders, but last episode, we lost to Man City, so it is so hard to judge in FIFA because it's so random. Like like the difficulty like if we should increase them if you if we should lower them it's so hard to like actually know if uh, if the chelsea game goes like this then we'll increase the sliders for psg because then we'll know chelsea usually play better in fifa they're not like set up so open on the counter attack like liverpool are so uh, that will be the test and that's uh, that's away from home too so that game should be tougher than this one like look at they pressure but uh they only stole the ball once that that time early on since then it has not really worked and Bruno's going to play that to Martial. Is Rashford on side? Nope, he's not. Rashford, all you got to do is keep yourself on side, and that is 4-0. As uh, Salah is coming off for, looks like Minamino. Okay, if Salah is coming off, that's a that's a concede. They just conceded victory, I think, or defeat, actually. All right, that's going to go to Henderson. Don't want to let them even get a sniff of getting back in this game. Even with Salah, without Salah, they still have a decent attack. Varane gets a good tackle on that, and... We are just going to clear that with Wannabe Saka, and that turns into a really good ball, Pogba. Okay, I need Martial to get on side. Now, can we make this 4-0? We should. We should. It's just as simple as you like, and Martial puts that in for 4-0. Yeah, I was not expecting this game to go like this, but it has gone like this. Win the ball back. Wannabe Saka just plays a beautiful ball to uh, to Rashford, and then... Or was it Pogba? I think it was Pogba. Whoever it was, it is, it is 4-0. Liverpool just they look like they just don't have it so we're gonna get that second place spot back and then we played Chelsea away so I think that one's gonna be much tougher than this game all right McTominay is gonna come on for Kimavinga, Van de Beek for uh, Pogba and then Greenwood for Martial yeah I pretty much I pretty much think that this oh that pass is too heavy I think this game is over all right two out of minutes this game has been over for quite some time can we keep the clean sheet yes we can also Liverpool have Aspas why do Liverpool always assign Aspas and Krumo they, like I whenever I face Liverpool they always have them but that is a uh, that is a very big win that I was not expecting a 4-0 win against uh Liverpool as uh, we move back into second place all right so back into second place and we face Chelsea next they're down in six but uh that's only five points behind us still a disappointing start for Chelsea who now have Lukaku in this save as well so that is a disappointing start for them and they're not even playing Lukaku I wonder if he's on the bench he definitely should be starting over Werner but all right we're going with uh, McTominay in for Kamavinga and then Greenwood in for Sancho for this game that is the only two rotations and I'm actually going to put uh, Martial on the right and then uh, Greenwood up top but we're going to see what we can do against Chelsea I'm expecting this game to be a uh, tougher considering it's away from home as well and uh, sometimes the 5-2-3 is hard to break down but we're going to see what we can do at Stamford Bridge all right a rainy afternoon at Stamford Bridge we just need to keep winning and we can hope that man city drop points that is all we can do this game should be a little bit more tougher than liverpool we're gonna see what we can do against chelsea i didn't even say they also have uh roman yali in there was he on there in the pre-game little matchup i don't think he was but he's in there i, just, I didn't i must have not seen him or they changed it still no lukaku though i wonder yeah he's on the bench i can see in the bottom lukaku is on the bench just for some reason he has okay that is such a good pass i didn't even mean to do that we find bruno Okay, it wasn't the worst idea. I just won't get to him. Yeah, Lukaku's on the bench. He should be starting, but he's on the bench instead. He is going to be so good for Chelsea in real life. The Arsenal game this weekend, he was just absolutely bullying Mari. Like, uh, he's just so strong and fast and so skilled. It's it's ridiculous. That is such a good signing for Chelsea. That's going to be cleared. Can we get this on someone for a volley? McTominay. McTominay, he's going to go for a shot, and there's just so many bodies in the box. Swing this to Pogba. Can we find room? Can we find a room? Someone was making a good run. Okay, McTominay, Martial, swing that to Pogba. 
Can he do another shot like he did against West Ham? That is a great challenge or a skip over actually. And that shot straight at Mendy. Right, he's going to fall to Ben Chilwell into Jorginho. You can already tell Chelsea are better than Liverpool. Okay, that's a, that's a hefty challenge. And then Conte steals it back. That is another hefty challenge. But Conte is just, you can't even get the ball off him right now. Werner. Okay, I let Werner get in through. Jorginho's going to go for a shot. And that almost falls to Werner, but he was offset anyways. Already Chelsea looking like more of a threat than Liverpool did the full 90 minutes. Pogba. Give that to Bruno. Greenwood's making a run. Oh, that was what a challenge by Ginter. That is ridiculous. And Bruno is injured apparently. That is that is not good. That is really not good. Hopefully it's not a bad injury. That would be the worst person to possibly get injured for our season. The uh, the commentator said he twisted his knee. That is that is not good. We're gonna see if he maybe runs it off or not. But uh, we might have to make a sub. Also, this first half has gone by so quick. It's already the 41st minute. This has gone by so quick. Okay, Bruno doesn't have the injured icon anymore. I think that means he's good. So that does make me happy. Pogba. Give that to Greenwood. Greenwood. Greenwood's going to go for a shot. That's going to be blocked by Romagnoli. He's Chelsea signed Romagnoli and Ginter. And they just have... Oh, that was... Oh, Maguire. That was a good header. I was going to say they have Thiago Silva on the bench as well. This is a really good header. It's a good save uh, by the keeper, though. Try this again, maybe. Maguire again. 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 And this time he puts it in the net. Man, he's been a threat on corners all season. Finally, he puts one in. Yeah, that's the perfect time to score, too. Game has been pretty even. It's just right before halftime. We get a corner off a attempted shot that was pretty much just hopeless. And because of that, we get a goal. All right. That pretty much will be right on halftime. Okay. Going into the second half, 1 0 up. Plus, Bruno looks like he's not injured. So we are in a good shape. Yeah. Chelsea are way more disciplined in their press. Like, this is how Liverpool should play. They shouldn't just go all crazy because then it just makes them easy to beat. But I mean, we are 1 0 up. We're trying to make this lead 2 0. Greenwood's going to hold us up a little bit. Give that to Bruno. Now Greenwood's going to go on a run. And he kind of stopped because the game thought I lost the ball, but I didn't. Pogba, give that. Okay, Martial's in a good spot. Get the ball to him. There we go. Greenwood. Greenwood. Oh, that was supposed to go to Bruno. Oh, that's not the player I wanted. I wanted that to go to Bruno. Okay, that is up to Greenwood now. Rashford. Can we time this right? Oh, we timed that right, and Greenwood's going to put that in. That timing was just perfection. And we are 2-0 up at Stamford Bridge. Yeah, I might alter the sliders a little bit for the uh, PSG game. It's good to see Greenwood scoring, though. It is very good to see Greenwood scoring. 63rd minute. That is that is 2-0. Chelsea have not threatened too much at our goal, so been a tighter game than Liverpool, but we are still 2-0 up. Every time they come forward, it's just Varane and Maguire are there to stop it. We play that through to Greenwood again. That was going to be another good ball. Just Christensen steps in the way. All right, Van de Beek on for Pogba, Tellez for Shaw, and then a Diallo for, for Martial. Those are the changes we're going to make. I think we play PSG in like uh, three or four days. So first team should be rested, but just in case we'll rest some of the some of the players in this game. Plus, this game does feel pretty safe. Despite only having a tuna lead. Oh, we could have made it three. Easily could have made it three there. All right, Pulisic, Pulisic. Okay, that gets to Conte. That's going to be lofted over to Chilwell. That's a cross in. And why is that so awkward for uh, De Gea? That should not have been that awkward. Jorginho gets around one. Goes to Asma Laqueta. Maguire is there for that, though. And we are just going to clear that. But at 86 minutes, it's not going to make a difference. I think this will be another three points. There's no way Chelsea scored two in the last in the last like five minutes. So this game is going to be another three points. We are definitely going to alter the sliders a little bit for PSG, I think. And the uh, last time we played PSG, it was a 1-1 draw. But this time it'll be at Old Trafford. So we'll see. But this is going to be a 2-0 win against Chelsea. So 4-0 against Liverpool and then 2-0 against Chelsea. Those are those are two very, very big wins. All right. So Man City still don't drop points. Out of 16 games, 15 wins and one draw. So still 10 points ahead of us. But we're sitting in second tied with Spurs. But we are, what, seven? Seven points above Leicester in fifth. So still trying to play catch up to Man City. But now we got PSG. This game will decide who finishes first in the group. So it's actually pretty big. This could give us a much easier round of 16 tie. So I want to win this game. All right. The pass error was on 43. We're going to lower it to 38. And the shot error was like on 53. We're going to lower it to... Oh, let's, let's do 50. Let's do 50. We're going to keep the user the same. Um, Goalkeeper. There's on 47. Ours is on 42. I think we're going to keep that as it is. I feel like the keepers aren't good enough. And then we're going to lower their uh, their first touch error to like 45, maybe. That should make the CPU play better. We will we will see as PSG line up with the suspected players. Draxler, Mbappe, Messi, Neymar. They signed Koke from Atletico Madrid. And then Verratti, Bernat, Ramos, Marquinhos, and Walker. So they signed Koke and they signed 
Kyle Walker. This team is insane. This team is insane. I would not be surprised that we face them later on in this, uh, maybe in the quarterfinals or something if we make it there. But like I said, we drew in Paris. We're going to see what we can do at Old Trafford. All right, facing the most OP team in FIFA. Plus, they've added Kyle Walker and Koke. So, yeah, this is... This is gonna be interesting. Finishing first in the group can be absolutely huge. So uh, that is what I want to do. There is Messi. Martial gets us kicked off once again. United versus PSG. The sliders should make this game tougher than the uh, Chelsea and Liverpool game. So we will see. This is a game that we we do want to win, obviously. Wing that to Pogba. Can we get off to a good start here? Pogba, swing that to Rashford. Okay, where is Luke Shaw? Luke Shaw, please make the overlap. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna cross this in. That, that was such a good cross. Sancho got the worst contact on it, though. That was a really good ball from Shaw. It's just, oh, Sancho, you gotta, do, you gotta be doing better with that from that spot. That is a clear, clear, like, free header almost. All right, that is a ball over the top to Mbappe. We're not gonna catch up to him. That is a cross over to Messi, and thankfully that misses him. Mbappe should have just took that himself. He probably could have had a pretty good chance. All right, up to Sancho. Juan Bissaka is overlapping. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can we swing an early cross and maybe? We are going to try it. Now on to the other side of Rashford. That was a decent cross. We're just not going to get anything from that. Pogba is going to shoot from this far out. It's on target at least, but it is straight into Navas's hands. All right, once again, Pogba up to Bruno. Pogba's making a run, and that's a good challenge by the former Man City right back, Kyle Walker. Their defense is kind of insane with uh, Ramos, Marquinhos, and Kyle Walker. That is just... That is pretty insane. I maybe could have passed that. I probably should have. Yeah, I should have passed that. And then do I need to even say their attack is insane? I think we all know it. Mavinga just out muscles Drax are there, though. I like to see that. That's a great ball. We head that to Bruno. Oh, if we just head that backwards to Bruno, that's a chance. If Sancho wins that. Play that to Kimavinga. Get that to Martial. Bruno. Back to Martial. Do a little give and go. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, Bruno. Bruno. Bruno, they're getting off him. You can't do that. You cannot do that. That one's going to be off target, though. Can't give Bruno that much room to shoot, though. You just can't do that. And okay, Neymar down the middle as a cam is causing problems. I can already I can already feel it. Oh, McGuire. That's a great challenge on Mbappe. Okay, that is a challenge that can lead to a counterattack. Play that through to Martial. That is beautiful. He is caught up, but that's not going to stop him from scoring. All started from the challenge in our in our half. And uh, that is a that is a big first goal. It's, it's kind of like the goal we scored against Chelsea with uh, Greenwood. Just timed right and then put in. All right, 36th minute. 1-0 to United first blood. Okay, Messi, calm down. Calm down. Luke Shaw is not going to catch you. But he does, actually. That's a great challenge. Okay. Now, can we go for another counterattack? Oh, Luke Shaw, what kind of pass is that? We had numbers too, I think. Kyle Walker down this wing. Messi is drifting towards the middle. Saw that, and they do find him. Messi to Neymar to... Okay, and they're going to put that in. I saw Messi drift outside, then he came back in, and they found him, and then... Eventually, Koke scores. I just completely, completely saw that happening. It's actually bad defense, though. I don't know why we're not uh, closer to Koke, but okay. 44th a minute, PSG get one back. Probably going into halftime uh, tied at 1-1. We might get one final chance if we can get this ball forward. Pogba to Martial. Martial is going to get tackled by Marquinhos, and that is going to be the first half. Felt like we had the upper hand, and then they just scored. That is what happens when you have Messi... Mbappe, Neymar, I cannot be letting Mbappe do that. Thank you, Varane, for saving me. Yeah, when you have that attack, they can they can score whenever they want. They just find the passes. That's going to be very close to the post, but that is going to be grabbed by uh, De Gea. All right, Bruno out to Rashford. Martial, it's not the run I expected. We back to Rashford? No, that was that was way too risky. Oh, Neymar is driving forward. Him as a cam has actually been really good. As I think he had, the, he had the assist for the first goal. Gets around me for that one. And then goes to Mbappe and they score. I left I left Mbappe because I thought I thought whoever I was controlling had a better chance of getting the ball from Neymar, but obviously not. And so this is this is pretty much my fault with Varane. I uh I was very close to actually blocking that. I was very close. That pass to Mbappe, I was so close to like just blocking that or clearing it. But not enough. Okay. 56th. Oh, I, what? Why do I even do that pass to start off? Okay, we need to get our heads back in this. We need to We need to do it before this gets out of hand. And I just let Messi in again. Okay, Luke Shaw, I need you to track Messi. Obviously, that's a tall order to ask. Pogba was still left from Walker like, uh, like absolutely nothing. And can we get this forward? Bruno, Bruno, I think that's offside. I think he is offside. 
Oh, he is. Just that was time just a little bit too late. All right, Di Maria is on for Draxler too. I feel like we can find this goal. I feel like we can find it. We just need to. We just need to find it. Martial, swing that to Pogba. Martial, we just left. Oh, we left Ramos in the dust, but we took one extra touch that was not needed. That could have been. That could have been the chance. Please don't come back to bite. That is just so many people just hounding Bruno Fernandez. Gonna go to Neymar and okay, that's that's a great challenge by Varane. Beautiful. Okay, go forward. Go, go Green or Martial. Gonna get that to Rashford, Sancho. We get it back to Martial. Get it back to him. Oh, that challenge from Ramos was so good that was the chance that was another chance okay I completely forgot if we draw this we finish first so a draw is enough all we need is one goal we need to hold that that is what we need can we get it Rashford we flip that up to Martial nope oh that was these chances are like pretty good chances we're just not finding the back of the net Bruno Bruno's gonna go for a shot. That's gonna be just completely blocked. Pogba. Give that back to Bruno. Is this one gonna be blocked? Yes, it is. Why is every shot blocked? That is so annoying. There's only five minutes left. That is it. This is the chance. Oh, just Navas is ready for that. Bro, we're making subs, though. I'm not sure they're gonna even get on the field. We only have uh, three minutes left. We have had like three or four, maybe three really good chances just not being able to score them. We can score one in the last, what, minute? We will finish first in the group. We need to win this like right now though, Messi. This is gonna be it's gonna be not enough time. And we're gonna lose to PSG 2-1. Oh, we could have easily tie that up. We really could have. Though we had like three chances, we just messed up. So uh PSG beat us at Old Trafford, so we finish second in the group. That is probably gonna give us a much tougher team to face in round of 16. So that is that is not good, but I think I think once again we just lost to uh the better team. Yeah, those those sliders feel good though. I feel like we'll keep these for the next episode. See how they how they fare against like a like a mid-table team. But okay, ending this episode, still sitting in second place, and we have finished second in our group. So so we're gonna face maybe Barcelona, Juventus, Sevilla. I'm hoping for Sevilla. That would be a good draw. Um, not Chelsea, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and Atletico Madrid. So it's gonna be Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, um, Sevilla, Juventus, or Barcelona. So we're just hoping for Sevilla. Other than that, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a team that could probably win the Champions that we're facing in the round of 16. So that is not gonna be it's not gonna be easy. I think in the next episode we might play like one of these games and then sim the rest of them and then enter the January transfer window. We're facing Chelsea and Liverpool again in January. We just faced them. But okay, entering the January transfer window in the next episode most likely. Probably not finishing it though. So once again, let me know. We have a uh, we have a lot of money. Should we go after a uh, a new CDM, like an actual true CDM? If you guys have any other suggestions other than Rice and Zakaria, leave them in the comments as well. I feel like it would improve us. If we sold Fred, then Kamavinga would go to the bench and we could play him in either Pogba or the CDM spot because honestly, he could play both. And then we could sound like a really good CDM. Someone also suggested uh, Casemiro. Now, Casemiro would be, he'd be pretty expensive being like 124 to 175 million, but 89 rated, he would be the best CDM possible maybe like 91 strength what is this 88 87 stand tackle and slide tackle that is insane and i don't think i've ever used them in career mode so that would be another sign that would be pretty interesting but uh, you guys let me know what you think about all that in the comments down below so that is it for this one drop a like on this video if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you haven't we are still creeping up on 10k subs i think we're like 500 away so if you're not subscribed i would appreciate you subscribing to the channel but i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day